Masculinity in modern culture, the biggest lie we tell ourselves about being a man, about what we need to do, man up, fucking be tough, be, be good with women, be alpha, to win, to always have that. What is this and, and, and how is it distorted and why do men rely on it so much? That's what we're talking about here on the Daily Awesome Podcast. I am Steve Maeda. I'm your host of this podcast. This is being recorded live on one of the most special things that you can imagine, our Men's Development Excellence Call every Wednesday night. Tonight is September 20th, 2017. We start off at 9.30, and we usually go to like 2 a.m. talking about this stuff. But more important, on uh, we also have a sex and relationships call. We also have a Sunday call that sometimes goes 24, 30 hours of different guys rotating in, talking about what it means to be a man in the male experience. And, and I want to clear this up because in this podcast, we're all about a different paradigm of looking at that. Now, this is done live. I'm probably going to miss a bunch of stuff. I try and put in slides and annotations in here to help you guys out. But in the show notes down below, you can click the free stuff link, which will tell you how to get our free courses on being social, connecting with people, our primal drive, uh, you know, different dating templates, all sorts of stuff about total men's development and our communities. But also all the show notes down below, I'm going to include everything that I miss in this in the whole like editing process of it because it's all one take, baby. That's how we do it. Plus these guys in the call got to talk. So... Be a part of our community. Click that free stuff link down below and get the show notes. So, masculinity. Why is this a lie? Why do men rely on it so much? Why is it such a big definition to be alpha? And think about that. Why do you need to be bigger, badder, faster than everybody else? Why is that? What's the motive behind it? Because it feels good. Because it's worth it. Because this is how I establish myself. This is how I gain respect. This is how I get people to pay attention to me. This is how I win. This is who gets the results in life that I want of money, success, women, all this sort of stuff. And all these things that are native to men's development uh, interactions. You get groups of men around, they're going to talk about success. They're going to talk about money. They're going to talk about women. They're going to talk about sex. They're going to talk about meaning. They're going to talk about purpose. They're going to talk about fatherhood or all those different phases that we go into, right? Those are the native things. But then what are the societal things? What did modern culture put a spin on this? What did modern culture take away from men? from humanity, not just men, because it happens with women too. It's just, we're, we're a men's group. But what did it take away from us that leaves us starving for an identity that has to choose the superlative to get there? See, this is the thing. And this is what we were talking about on the call. When you're a man and you're in function of your life, meaning that you don't need to be making a million bucks, but you're surviving, right? You have a roof over your head. You're not worried and terrified about money all the time. When you're a man and you have enough to eat, right? And you start to have choice over your food and, and, and your health. You don't worry about things in the same way you would if you're starving, right? If you didn't have money, if you've been broke, you'd be reaching for things. A different character of you would come out that's desperate, that's scarce, that's, that's in a mode of scarcity, right? That's trying to reach for what that is. But see, one of the native things, one of the things that we are born to be was have an emotional wealth, in an identity that was important in how we grew up and how we evolved, or I'm sorry, how we evolved in our lives. And this is where evolutionary psychology gets things so fucking wrong, especially in the dating world and in the masculine world, is how we truly evolved was in small groups and we all connected. And this was important. We needed an identity. But see, right now, our identity is so refracted all over the world. Right? We have social media we can plug in somewhere else and somebody's getting popular because they're Justin Bieber or they did a dance or they got more likes on this and that or whatever it is. And this is what gives us meaning. People are paying attention to it. The people that are surrounding at you are obsessed with their phones or the billboards or whatever, but not the thing in front of them. And we live in a culture where we're so, so connected, so packed, but we can't see how the person right next to me, how I directly affect them. This is not how we evolved emotionally, psychologically, and physiologically. It wasn't about ranking. It wasn't about hierarchy. In anthropology, there's almost no evidence of this. Is that what it was about was connecting. And then there's so many different ways that we could do that. And see, when we're a guy, when we're a guy in our, in our, our sex lives, our, our, our functioning, we're fulfilled. When we're a guy and we're emotionally fulfilled, right, When we're a guy and we're socially fulfilled, we're financially fulfilled, we have enough food in our bellies, we have a very different conversation than a guy who's starved in those ways. 
And so let me tell you about this conversation, this conversation of guys that are uh, emotionally fulfilled. They have a sense of selves, a self, they have a sense of their sexuality. They say things like, man, fucking women, Jesus Christ, man, I can't handle them. Like women are crazy. I was just actually texting my friend. He's Puerto Rican. And, I, and we just had a Hurricane Maria went through there, Hurricane Irma went through there. And um, I said, hey, man, I hope your family's all right. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, they're all right. This, this is crazy. What's going on there? Man, blah, 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 blah. And we're texting back and forth. And I said, man, Latin women. And he's like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Irma and Maria. It's like they cause all the problems. And this is a guy that's a true man. I mean, his, his sexual life is something that we're, where he's fulfilled. And we're making that joke, you know, that chauvinistic, masculine joke. And sometimes we might even say, or I might have a conversation with him. It's like, man, Jesus Christ, she's being like a bitch. Fuck her. Jeez, what, what the fuck? And we mean that because we have experience with women. It means something very different than the guy who is starving, who hasn't eaten enough. And he's reaching at every little piece of food. But instead of starving in his belly, he's starving in his heart. He's starving in his identity. He's starving in who he is and he's looking at all this stuff of what seems to be the bright lights uh, that's going to feed him masculinity. Alpha male, the fucking want pig comes out of his heart and his soul to start scratching at this and he's like, I'm going to do this and man, these alpha dudes or whatever they are, these guys that are good with women are saying bitch and ho and fuck. Man, women cause problems and the hate comes out and they don't even know what it's like to have a woman in their arms and transform as a man and those man things that we don't always talk about as men when we truly give ourselves to a woman because when the rage comes out and we are being sexual and we're delivering it in all those ways and we're putting our entire self in her what happens is we purge it all and we let go and that beautiful femininity comforts us this is seduction man this is the beauty this is where women complete men and men complete women this is a fucking awesome thing but that guy can't hear that because he doesn't know it and that guy walks into his sex life he walks into his social life in his training wheels our fucking anger, our rage of templates of masculinity, of walking in with that hurt that he doesn't have to look at now that say, I'm not a person. My dad didn't respect me. I'm going to gain my respect. You know, I got used by women. I got, I got looked over in high school. I got blah, 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 blah. And now I'm going to take. Now this is mine. This is what it is. It's all hypergamy. We see it in ranking. We start listening to these fucking asshole motherfuckers that are, you know, all into evolutionary psychology or the Jordan Petersons of the world or the, you know, these people say good stuff and they're smart guys, but they get some shit wrong because they haven't lived a life where they fucked. They haven't lived a life where they put it on the line. They haven't lived a life where they fought. And all you guys who might not have that are going, oh, that's what it is to be mad. No, man, that's what it is to be a human being. If I live my life, there's going to be something that I need to stand up for. And it's not some fucking social justice Facebook bullshit. I'm going to need something to put it on the line. But the, you start hearing these guys saying, oh, well, cross-culturally, in every culture in, in the world, you see women look at rank and the, the graphs of blah, 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 blah. But here's the beautiful thing. Scientists, this is amazing to me about the whole evolutionary psychology thing. It's, it's fucking crazy, man. Is that in any hunter and gatherer culture, this does not exist. So it's not just that it doesn't exist once or twice, which would break the rule. It's that it doesn't exist over 90% of the time, that there isn't ranking, that feelings of jealousy aren't there, that feelings of, uh, of, of a social ranking are not there, that this is not recognized. Certain words like rape or murder or stealing do not exist. And in some, they do. But that, wouldn't this break the rule? Wouldn't this be amazing that this is closer to how we evolved? That wouldn't this put into perspective that if we just got some representation of self, if we learned how to state who we are? And I get it. We're in modern culture, motherfuckers. We got to learn how to do it. You know, man, talking to a fucking camera and a call online with a bunch of people around the world is pretty fucking cool, but this isn't relation, right? We got to learn to carry it over. And so we have to learn to translate into the modern world. And sometimes you are going to need to speak up. Sometimes a chick is going to try and take from you. Sometimes people are going to be more important than you and you got to fight for that and move within the rankings of the game, but see it as a game because the shit that is golden inside of yourself is not the stuff that society says is golden about you. The stuff that is golden within you is the stuff that you feel, that you define, that you've put out there, that you share with the world. And if you don't put that out there and aren't willing to share that or put that in, in have be rejected, have be turned down, have people look at it and not see what's you then what are you doing? You are wearing a mask. You are afraid and you're getting rejected for that. 
And somebody that's being rejected for that is somebody who has to search for the superlative. The opposite of what he's been shit on for all of his life. And that's where the window to the desire to hunt for masculinity. Hunt for being alpha. Hunt for being dominant. Hunt for being the fucking man or all this sort of stuff. Really, really is literally those fingers pointing out at you. That mirror back of what's in that reflection is the little boy who's now in a man's body, who's terrified to show that heart of gold that he was born with, that, that his body grew and manifest, that his life built. And instead of taking that responsibility or whatever of that expression that's there, it's some other fucking shit, man. And that's the saddest thing. That's the saddest thing. We pass guys every day. We pass fucking, fucking souls every day. We pass a passion every fucking minute. We pass a dream. We pass a representation that is, that is no different than the greatest poet, the greatest artist, the greatest creator. See, there is no difference when it comes to what is within me and you except my expression. And so many people left that behind. Instead, we get these really good guys wearing masks. We get these really good guys playing the game. That's not expression. That's something else. And that's something that we value. And you should work for that shit. We got to play the game. I got to wear the hat too. You all do too. But that expression behind it, man, that's the fucking gold. And it doesn't matter what they say about it. It matters what you say with it. And the beautiful thing about expression is it's meaningless if it doesn't connect. So it's your job. It's your fucking job to show that to somebody. So you got to learn to communicate that to somebody and people aren't going to see it right away, but it's your job. It's not an advertisement. It's not a marketing plan. It's not a trick. It's not a hack. It's you saying, Hey, look at me. And they say, I don't see it. You say, no, look at me, look at me. I'm willing. And you might need to do some things to get there, but fuck man, that is your fucking evolved born to be job as a human being. And that's fucking beautiful. And not enough people do that. If you want to talk about this, man, and get in on this discussion, Men's Development Excellence, sign up for it, subscribe to our channel. When you subscribe, there's playlists on fucking every goddamn thing, and you can hear what we talk about. You subscribe, you click that bell, it gets you in on all that. But more importantly, free stuff to link down below. We have tons of ways to engage. Our Austin Men's Development Board is free. I would recommend that Men's Development Excellence. Why? Because it puts you on a, a awesome, awesome fucking support network group that we have. But more importantly than that, it gets you on our calls. What a fucking special, beautiful thing. I'm here spitting fire, but Jesus Christ, man, I'm a spark of that fucking burning flame of all the shit of what guys have been talking about in here, man. And it moved me. You want to talk about being a man? You want to talk about manning up? You want to talk about masculinity? You want to talk about being alpha? Man, this is where we do it. It's a little bit of a different paradigm. I don't want to get caught up in the bullshit syntax of it, but what it's really about is expressing and living life on life's terms. Fuck what society tells us what we are. We're going to be the best at what we are, but we got to be us first. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to get back to this motherfucker. Ciao.